The Merchant Boarding API is a powerful way for you to, you guessed it, board merchants into your affiliate account. So the documentation is over here in the main menu. So if I click into this, I'm gonna get taken to the full documentation for this feature. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that whoever's doing the development for whatever software you're building can access this. And a good use case would be you want merchants to be able to sign up on your website, or you want to use a custom interface that's not our affiliate control panel for adding your merchants. If you have specific needs that could be optimized with your own software, you could absolutely use this to do that. And so the general idea is that, if we scroll down a little bit, there's several steps. So the first step is to board a gateway account. And so this is to give the merchant the name of their account, their contact information, their address, all of that information right here, just who is this merchant? After that, you go to processor creation, and this is where you add the processing platform to the account. So if they have a TSIS mid, this is where you'd add that information. If they had a first data mid, that information as well. So you would pick which platform they're gonna be processing on and pass along relevant information, just like you would in the user interface, where we have you select the credit card processor or check processor, and then configure it how you want. All of that's accessible in the API as well. Every single thing you can do in the UI is accessible here. The documentation has specific variables for different processors. So different processors support different things. There's lots of links out to documentation to different sections that kind of show you what you can do. If we go to supported platforms list, we have a list of all the platforms that you can board through the API. It's not every single one, but it accounts for very, very close to 100% of the accounts that are boarded on NMI. You can also add services here. So services can be added, deleted, updated, all from the API. So typically you'll add these when the merchant's created. So you can make sure that they have the vault activated. You can make sure they have invoicing offered. They can, you can make sure they have automatic card updater offered. And then just like the user interface, you can go ahead at a later date and use this API to activate services, to disable services, to make new ones offered. This part of it is really powerful. And then there's merchant status. And so this allows you to set a merchant to active, closed, restricted, or deleted. Again, just like the UI. So basically all the things you can do in the UI to manage a merchant, a lot of that is available in this API. And so, like I said before, the main use case would be if you want to have a separate system for boarding merchants, you can do that. If you want to have like a way for merchants to sign up for service, on your website and you're using a face platform, then you can actually do that. All that works with the Merchant Boarding API. You can get real-time sub-merchants created under your face account if you're using that feature. So it's really, really powerful for you to board merchants and manage them a little bit, or for merchants to even board themselves if you're using a face platform.